more municipalities. Um, so we're very pleased with that. So we know the numbers, we work with Ernst Young, the numbers are the numbers. So what I like to do for individuals, now that I'm on the private side from the public side, is that I ask you to familiarize yourself because I can't believe what it costs to live in California from having grown up here. And does anyone know what the current medium income or even 120% medium income for family for in Alameda County? You are absolutely, you are very close. $150,000 income. That's, that's incredible. I tell my daughter, okay, you know, this majoring in philosophy, sweetie. Okay. Yeah. So my wife already said we're going to convert our garage. You didn't hear me on that. No. She's going back to her old room. It's going up. Yes, it's going up. But the point is, is that it's not just single family homes detached. It's how do you build, how do you finance that building for and make it such that families and individuals can live with. So it's like taking a Rubik's Cube and bringing it together, but there's ways to do it. And um, without being cheap, and I'll say that. So we build something for if we were living. So all of our staff live where we build. It's our philosophy is very simple. If you're not going to live there, then you don't bring that out to, to the market. So fortunately, we're able to do that. And that's why the, the other side is that I just find that it is um, incredibly irresponsible of jurisdictions to allow individuals to come in and provide a product that people are not pleased with. And you have every right to hold developers accountable, say here's the value, here is, here's the raw material we want, this is the look that we want, and I think it's just, it's just fabulous. So to that extent, I'll have a sidebar conversation with folks, I can give you all the numbers, and I just think you need to be prepared for what it actually costs to build housing, because we gotta get this certified by the state of California, because we do not want to go down that path of litigation. We just, we just, we just don't. So, um, Go to the county website, familiarize yourself with the numbers, and um, thank you, Andrew and Seth. I'll turn this back over to Andrew. Thank you, thank you, Patrick. Um, and thank you, thank you all for coming. Um, I think it's, I just wanted to just recognize a few people. I'm hoping some of you will hang around. I'm gonna have another beer. If you wanna talk anymore, let's, let's do it. Um, I just wanted to recognize, uh, you may have seen a guy in a uniform, uh, Fire Chief Nick Luby was here, he had to leave. Um, our community development director, Lisa Maxwell, is over there. If you want to know anything about Alameda Point. <laughs> oh, no, are you all right? Um, if you, Lisa, if you're interested in what the city is doing about supportive housing, about the homeless situation, and about Alameda Point, um, Lisa knows it all. Um, our public information officer, thank you, Sarah Henry. Sarah's around here. If you want to know about what's going on in Alameda, that's that's the woman you talk to right there, because uh, she knows everything. Um, I also just want to take a minute. Um, if they're still hanging around, they are a source of information for all of you, or if you ever run into them. Our planning staff, which has done so much work on these issues over the year, 